Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today, oh boy, it's important. Today we're playing the number one ranked team in the world, Belgium. Wales versus Belgium, the last game of the qualifiers. What a way to round it off as well. Already guaranteed a playoff spot, which is good for the World Cup. Let's hope we don't have a repeat of many of those years in the past and get to our first World Cup since 1958 in the qualifiers. But today is equally important. If we draw, we get a home tie. If we win, we get a home tie. If we lose, we get an away tie to the likes of Italy, Scotland, really difficult teams, which I'm not looking forward to. Either way, teams come out now, and it looks like we're going for the draw today. Ward in goal, Roberts, Metham, Rodon, Davis, Williams at the back, with Morel, Allen, Ramsey, Dan James, and Kiefer Moore to end up the lineup. Really don't know why Harry Wilson's on the bench, to be honest. That does surprise me, but not more to say here. Just get in the crowd, get the limbs going, get the canting going. Boy, it's going to be on fire tonight. First time that the Cardiff City Stadium has sold out since the South Wales derby, which is going to absolutely be brilliant. Apart from that, let's do it. Thoughts on tonight, then? No, I can see why Wales are playing um, slightly more defensive than we did against Belarus. Five at the back. Uh, Morel comes in, of course, for the injured Gareth, Gareth Bale. Harry Wilson on the bench, but I can I can see the the, um, the thinking behind that. Maybe Brennan Johnson or uh, or Tyler Roberts could have come in, but it makes sense that Kiefer Moore is in there. He can help hold it up, and he'll cause the back line of Belgium a lot of problems with his height, and he, he can hold on to the ball as well. So, tactically, hopefully everything will go well for us. We have got a bit of pace in the side as well. Neko Williams had a really good game the other evening. Uh, we know that Con Roberts has got a bit of pace. Uh, Dan James as well. And Kiefer Moore, he, he can show it now and again as well, can't we? So hopefully we can get a positive result. If it's a draw, so be it. Um, you say about Italy. Mm -hmm. If we do get a draw, we need, I think, Turkey. I think they play North Macedonia. I think they, they're not to win by three goals or four goals. And the other tie, which it depends on. And the other tie that it depends on as well is... Norway going away to the Netherlands. I don't think they can win by more than three goals. If that's the case and we get a draw, then we'll be at home in those playoff uh, semi-finals. Don't really want to face Scotland. We know about Scotland are qualifying in the past so many times. Uh, Italy, Portugal as well are in there. But uh, yeah, let's get to the stadium and hopefully we can get a win or a draw.
Ben Davis. Positive free start. There we go. Wales, Wales. End of first half. Takes a positive from 92. Especially when their Belgian starts to break us down. But Bob Marr taking one control to be honest. But, um, but yeah. That, I mean, three hours of performance, but I, I'm happy with it. Yeah, uh, it was very tit for tat at the start, but then Wales, uh, Belgium took control. De Bruyne shoving down uh, the Wales fans. It's a bit loud in here at the moment, isn't it? Just oh, it's so oh, Joe Ledley. Basically, half -bay. So Joe Ledley's in the centre of the, of the park there, giving us the canton stand away. But um, yeah, pretty much Belgium attacking a lot of the time. Wales breaking Kiefer Moore, man of the moment. Scored lots of goals at the moment, hopefully he'll do it on Saturday as well. I think was, he shot past about four players, didn't he? He scored, so
All I'll say is that I will take that guys, honestly, what a performance in the end. Very nearly in some sections could have won that game and also could have lost that game as well, but just glad that we got over the line and it looks like we've got a home tie in March for the semi-final, which is just brilliant. What do you think? Oh yeah, it, it, it was an absolutely um, brilliant game of football at the end of the day, wasn't it? Um, Belgium showed <laughs> the, the quality they got in their ranks, Wales too. Um, sort of counter-attacking. Kiefer Moore was, as usual, sort of bang from pillar to post. Uh, he had a really good game. Nick Williams, for the second match on the trot, had a, a fantastic uh, game as well. Uh, Dan James played well. All, yeah, throughout the, the Welsh ranks, everyone to a man did well. And uh, we got over the line with a 1-1 draw. I, I've only just seen, I think, uh, Norway lost against Netherlands away and uh, Turkey I think it beat Montenegro 2-1 so I believe that as you say Nathan yeah. uh, gives gives Wales a home berth in that semi-final uh, playoff pl 
place. Yeah, that's what we really needed and uh, bring on the march really and find out who we get. Uh, just hope we get a decent tie in that one. But apart from but apart from that, moving on to Cardiff City content now, as this was the last international break before March. Uh, Preston on Saturday, we won't be going, unfortunately, so that will be a live stream. Then next uh, Tuesday night, Hull City, that will be a vlog, which means the video will be up on Wednesday. But if you guys have enjoyed then please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to all you can support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Follow all my social medias in the description below. And limbs. <laughs> Did you enjoy those limbs when it was 1-1? One, one? What a pile on in the canton. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Probably the best, some of the best, well, not the best, but some of the best limbs I have seen in a home end ever. Normally that's reserved for away days. Uh, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Apart from that, I'll see you Saturday for the live stream. Au revoir.